Hello everyone, I'm Don Seawolf and welcome back to Air Traffic Control. Actually, this is going to be my first video in English um, because already on the first day I had one of my friends uh, requesting that I do a video uh, where I go more into depth with the commands. And two days after I had someone who asked for an English tutorial. So I will give it a shot and yeah, we'll see how that works. Yeah, we are back in Munich, Echo Delta Delta Mike Airport, and I've got a bunch of commands on my note list here. And I will just try to tell you how to control the aircraft most realistically and especially how everything works. I want to start right away with the departures. We got uh, five departure strips right here, um, indicated by the blue line at the beginning of the strip, um, opposed to the uh, red line, which is arrivals. And I played around with the departures a little bit and figured out that it's possible to assign um, and departure um, to design a standard instrument departure to departure to a departing aircraft right away. To do that, we will simply type in SID for standard instrument departure, give it the name, which departure would we want it to fly, and in this case we want Vavor, because um, our goal is to get the departing aircraft through this blue arc, um, wherever that is. It's different for every aircraft. So again, SID Vavor. <coughs> Then we have to assign it an initial climb altitude, which in Munich generally is flight level 70. So we type in C for climb. I will go over the different climb and descent commands later on, but for now, for um, sake of simplicity, we'll just put in C70. And then we can issue it, uh, give it the taxi clearance, and we say taxi. Um, in this case, I will type in 26 left as well, because I want aircraft departing to the south to depart from somewhere from the southern runway and traffic that goes to the north um, I want to have it departed departing on the northern runway and that's actually also the case how it is done in Munich okay an arrival just quickly so it doesn't spiral out of control we'll clear to altitude 5000 feet I'll go the uh, commands I'm, I'm issuing right now later on, so don't worry. Okay, we got the uh, Speedbird 606 now already on the runway. Um, so all we got to do is we uh, assign it a departure route. Um, he's got an initial, an initial climb altitude. So all we got to do is now give it the take off command. You can either type in take off or just TO, whichever fits you. Okay, and then Lufthansa 624, we'll give it the security. Um, if I press the up arrow, the system will select the previously selected aircraft, so that's pretty handy if you want to type um, several commands in chain. So now we give it climb 70, and right after the taxi, and 26 left. Next for Alitalia 243, which is SID. Algoi, Alpha Lima Golf. Initial climb 70 and the taxi to 26 left as well. United 874 wants to go to the north, that makes sense. So this is departure route Zit Nimdi, also 7000 feet, and the taxi command. And what do we have here? KLC. I'm actually not sure what that call sign is. Um, but nevertheless, it's Sid Nimdi. Climb to 7000 and taxi 26 right. Okay, so while Speedbird 606 has departed, we can click on it and we see that the Sid Vavor told it to fly from Munich to La Col to Vavor. Um, there is no point or no fix assigned after Vavor, so what the aircraft will do is it will fly from La Col to Vavor and will continue on present heading. This means that the aircraft will fly the same heading that it flew from La Col to Vavor, so just continue on this heading. 
which brings us right through the blue arc, which is awesome. So all we got to do now is check are there any arrivals conflicting with the speedbird and uh, it's pretty easy to tell now there is not. Because Lufthansa is gonna uh, go to runway or to the RLS runway 26 left, so Speedbird is free to climb. So what we're gonna do now is give it a climb just to show you the different uh, terms you can use. Instead of C, we will now use climb and we will use um, 10,000. This brings the aircraft up to flight level 100 or 10,000 feet. Um, note that you can, um, to, to climb the aircraft to 10,000 feet, you can also say C100. You see here, climb to 10,000, it's uh, the same thing. You can also use, what else can you use? You got uh, C10, C100, climb 100, yeah, that's about it. Actually, you can also use D100, which is more or less for descent but um, it does the same thing. You can also say it descent. Uh, should select the aircraft. Descent 100, which will also climb into 10,000. So it's just the different terms, but they all do the same. The command behind the uh, different terms is always the same. It's just a clearance to an, to an altitude in this case. You can also say A100 and it will also climb to 10,000. Um, the developers, um, write in the tutorial that it is up to ourselves to decide which term fits best. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. We'll just use climb and descend as we see fit. And I think I usually just use C for the command because it's just faster to type in. Yeah, and there goes my telephone, really. Yeah. So we are back and uh, if I remember correctly, we were talking about the departure right here, Lufthansa. Triple eight, which is steadily flying to waypoint Delta Mike 448, which is great. I'll just assign this guy a speed and we'll talk about this in just a second as well. I will also assign this guy a speed just to slow him down a little bit. Okay, we will come to left turns and right turns because Lufthansa Triple Eight needs left turn to intercept the RLS of runway 26 left properly. Turns in general. There are different, three different, actually two different ways to assign a new heading. So what we can do is tell Lufthansa, fly heading. Um, I'll just give it in this case um, 310 for the uh, sake of testing. So it will do left turn to heading uh, 310 now. If you put in fly heading FH, um, the pilot will decide which turn direction is the shortest and will just turn the aircraft in the direction of the shortest way to the heading you assigned. If you don't want um, the pilot to decide which is the uh, best turn direction, for example, if you want to have a Lufthansa 888 do a right turn for delay purposes onto the ILS of runway 26 left, then you would have to put in turn right 310 we'll just try that and you see turn right heading 310 actually he does nothing because he isn't heading 310 that is great so turn right heading 300 that should do the trick and you see the aircraft starting its right turn in a nice circle which should take the aircraft two minutes if it's a standard circle and then he's continuing on heading 300 same goes for turn left. We'll give it 290 now and let it uh, land on runway 26 right instead. So for turn left, the aircraft now turns left heading 290. I can also do turn left 280 and assign the landing clearance for 26 right, which I will do with the star asterisk or whatever you want to call it, and then 26 right. So the aircraft should now turn left. 280 and then intercept the ILS as soon as possible. This right here indicates um, the uh, ILS clearance and the white dot in the middle of the red circle indicates that the aircraft has already intercepted and received the ILS signal so it will continue on the ILS path. Meanwhile we get a couple of more departures. I will not 
clear them right now. Actually, I will give Alitalia uh, the takeoff clearance right now. Yeah, and we are short on the, uh, your uh, arrivals. Yeah, so now Lufthansa 624 is going this way to Kirdi, and we got Lufthansa 9040 arriving. He's no factor for him, but the Lufthansa 8901 could be a factor. So, but what I'm gonna do is clear him flight level 100 because then he's already above Lufthansa 8901, and I can always uh, try to get Lufthansa 8901 below Lufthansa 624. Risky move, but I will risk it anyways. Okay, let's get to speed control. Especially for arriving aircraft, it's very important to issue speeds um, to have the aircraft in sequence. Um, you can try to increase the gap between aircraft by slowing down the um, trailing aircraft <clears throat> or by speeding up the leading aircraft. But usually aircraft want to fly around uh, to one zero knots when intercepting the ILS. Okay, what else uh, had, are we going to talk about? What can we talk about? We can talk about fixes. Lufthansa 9040 is navigating to Napsa, but I don't want him at Napsa. I want him straight to Delta Mike 448. And actually I will give him a route to Delta Mike 448 just to show you what is possible. So first of all, okay, he's navigating to Napsa. Um, first of all, we want to go into Ratki. We will type in fix Ratki, and the aircraft will proceed to direct to Ratki. So now what I'm wanna, uh, what I'm going to do is give him a command to proceed from Ratki to Bibak to Vibuk to Delta Mike 448 and then to Nelby, which is a detour, of course, and it's not very efficient, but just for the sake of the tutorial. What I'm going now is put in PR for proceed and then Bibak. And magically what happens, he's proceeding from Ratki to Bibak. And I can continue doing that. Putting in proceed Vibuk. Now he's going Ratki Bibak Vibuk. And we will go on for uh, up to Delta Mike 448. And then we want him to Nelby. There we go, we put in our own route. Awesome. So what else am I gonna do now? Actually, this is the first time I try this because in the tutorial they say if you get a route and you type in direct or DCT, the shortcut, the aircraft should fly um, to the shortcut and then continue the route you assigned him. So if I get that correctly, if I put in DCT or if I put in direct and tell him bivac, it actually works. That is awesome. So basically what we did, the aircraft has its route that it's flying and what we did is just give it a direct inside this route. So usually um, before we did that, he was going Ratki, Bibak, Vibuk, Delta Mike, 448, Nelby. I told him to go direct Bibak and he's now going Bibak and continuing on his previously assigned route. And that is really cool. I really like that. I like it a lot. Okay, what else are we, do we have to talk about? And I think that's about it. We talked about standard notice from departure routes. We talked about proceed direct fixes. Um, one more thing. If an aircraft is, oh, right here, yeah. I cleared a conflict and that is not cool. We are going to use that. The uh, KLC 9997 is already on the runway and Lufthansa 888 is landing and that is not a cool idea. So what we put in is abort and magically Lufthansa 888 is speeding up and gaining altitude because we told him to abort the landing. Good thing I saw that coming. We'll give this guy just a quick left turn to well, let's say 290 should be good. Yep. And there is just one more thing I want to show you. And for that, I'm going to speed up the simulation. Um, yeah, that should be high speed. Yeah, the thing I want to show you is um, just a small phraseology thing where um, the aircraft Lufthansa 9040 I will actually I will do it right now so you guys can see it 
I will tell him with the asterisk 26 left, which means, and they also say it in the tutorial, that you clear the aircraft for the ILS approach. And if I now hit enter, I want you to check the command line. I will also pause the game for that. So Lufthansa 4940, uh, that's his call sign. Um, winds 250 at correction 275 at 3 knots. Wow, read it correctly. Runway 26 left, clear to land. Um, this is something maybe the de developers can change it um, because what the arrival uh, controller does is clear him for ILS. So the correct um, clearance would be Lufthansa 9040. Clear ILS approach runway 26 left. There is no winds included. There is no clear to land or anything included. The wind and the clear to land is the uh, tower controller's responsibility to give the aircraft the wind, the pilot the wind and the landing clearance. Um, yeah, it's just a small thing, but it just is wrong What's uh, um, what they write here. So maybe you can change it, developers, if you see this video, if ever. Okay, I thought for a second my simulation crashed there, but it did not, apparently, aircraft are still moving. But this was the last thing I wanted to go over with. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed my video. I hope I could help you. Um, with this video with this tutorial if you still have any questions feel free to ask and please um, like comment and subscribe and also put in the comments if you want anything else that i uh, talk should talk about anyhow see you